Ecclesiastes from the English Septuagint of the Lancelot C. Brenton translation, continuing in chapter 11. Send forth your bread upon the face of the water, for you shall find it after many days. Give a portion to seven and also to eight. For you do not know what evil there shall be on the earth. If the cloud be filled with rain, they pour it out upon the earth. And if a tree fall southward, or if it fall northward in the place where the tree shall fall, there it shall be. He that observes the wind sows not, and he that looks at the clouds will not reap. Among whom no one knows what is the way of the winds. As the bones are hid in the womb of a pregnant woman, so you shall not know the works of God, even all things, whatever he shall do. In the morning sow your seed, and in the evening let your hand be slack. For you know not what for you know not what sort shall prosper, whether this or that, or whether both shall be good alike. Moreover, the light is sweet, and it is good for the eyes to see the sun. For even if a man should live many years and rejoice in them all, yet let him remember the days of darkness, for they shall yet be many. All that comes is vanity. Rejoice, O young man, in your youth, and let your heart cheer you in the days of your youth, and walk in the ways of your heart blameless, but not in the sight of your eyes. Yet know that for all these things God will bring you into judgment. Therefore, Remove anger or sorrow from your heart and put away evil from your flesh for youth and folly or vanity. Chapter 12 And remember your Creator and the days of your youth before the days of evil come and the years overtake you in which they shall say, in which you shall say, I have no pleasure in them. While the sun and the light are not darkened, nor the moon and the stars, nor the clouds return after the rain, in the day wherein the keepers of the house shall tremble and the mighty men shall become bent, and the grinding women cease because they have become few, and the women looking out at windows, be dark, and they shall shut the doors in the marketplace because of the weakness of the voice of her that grinds at the mill, and he shall rise up at the voice of the sparrow, and all the daughters of song shall be brought low, and they shall look up, and fears shall be in the way, and the almond tree shall blossom, and the locust shall increase, and the caper shall be scattered, because man has gone to his eternal home, and the mourners have gone about the market. Before the silver cord be let go, or the choice gold be broken, or the pitcher be broken at the fountain, or the wheel run down to the cistern before the dust also return to the earth as it was and the spirit returned to God who gave it vanity of vanities said the preacher all is vanity and because the preacher was wise above others so it was that he taught man excellent knowledge and the ear will trace out the parables the preacher sought diligently to find acceptable words 
and a correct writing, even words of truth. The words of the wise are as codes, and as nails firmly fastened, which have been given from one shepherd by agreement. And moreover, my son, guard yourself by means of them. Of making many books there is no end, and much study is a weariness of the flesh. Hear the end of the matter. The sum. Fear God, and keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. For God will bring every work into judgment with everything that has been overlooked, whether it be good or whether it be evil. Godspeed, friends.